For Vida is Italian for intense or passionate, and who wouldn't want to describe their relationship as for Vida? Transformational coach Colleen Diedrich gives us tips to make the mercury boil. So for Vida is a sex workshop that I designed to help women to increase their sexual presence. It's a fusion of rap sessions and dance um, to have them take a better look at themselves in a way that most of us don't. So it's um, pretty much a journey inside um, to have them come from a more empowered space in all the different spheres of their life. The classes themselves are actually six weeks. However, I can truncate them for the person's need or whatnot. I offer the classes privately, so you don't necessarily have to be a part of a group setting if that doesn't work for you, or if the times don't work for you. Um, I also offer open sessions where you get an opportunity to sample what one class would look like. So this is open to, to John public. Primarily now, I'm looking at a wide cross-section of things, starting, um, depending, I'm looking at self-concept, I'm looking at um, how it is that we maneuver ourselves in, in our interactions from woman to woman, um, how it is that we maneuver in relationships and just getting some you know, stimulating conversation around that. 2014 promises to be even that much more exciting if it's at all possible. I am um, looking at, without giving away too much, just exploring some of the things that we would have classified as taboo as it pertains to sex, really delving into a lot of those and giving persons an opportunity to experience it in a way that is a little bit more than you would have anticipated. I'll be continuing with the lap dance classes. I also do sensual dancing. Um, so I'll be continuing with the lap dances and, and just adding new elements to that to um, just keeping, you know, to keep things exciting. So it promises to be phenomenal, that much I can tell you. I am also going to be putting on the expo again. Last year, in June, I had my first expo. So for this year, I'm looking at making things bigger and better um, for this June. So just stay tuned. I mean, the sky is the limit. I think the idea of being somebody else in the relationship can add a lot of, a lot of spice, a lot of unexpected spice. Um, because, again, once you've been in a relationship for a period of time, then um, the same level of excitement isn't there. You know what I mean? And that's just the fact. So just life continue to wear on the relationship. Um, I think if I pretend to be somebody else, especially as a woman, if I'm coming from that place, if I pretend to be somebody else, um, that I'm not overly inundated with the fact that I'm a mother and that the kids are in the next room. I'm not taken in by that. Because if I'm now pretending to be the temptress that you're paying for sex tonight, that's not what I carry into that encounter. Automatically, mentally, I'm in a different place. And if it is that he's now pretending to be, um, you know, the stud that just moved in next door, that you've been watching while you water your lawn, then come again, it changes the whole dynamics, and it's the same person. It is necessary to set on your calendar a time when you are going away. And when I say go away, I mean away from the house, away from the familiar, to rekindle, to get to know each other again. Invest in supporting my significant other. Um, what is important to my partner at this time? I'm playing an active role. If all of a sudden he decides that he's into racing and, um, or he wants to start writing, whatever, to play an active role. The same thing with, with um, your wife or your significant other. The importance of um, of something that grounds your relationship. The importance of God in your relationship. Whatever it is that you consider that to be. Um, for me, it is the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, the importance of that stabilizing force in your interaction. Um, both of you coming to a place of, um, of just honoring and recognizing the role um, that tapping into this deeper and higher being
can do for your relationship. Remember what it was like to be carefree. Have a day when you go back to your most playful time. Um, and for some persons that's childhood, for some persons that's university days or whatever else, but recreate that. Recreate that, whatever it means for you to recreate that. If it means just jumping in the car, calling him up one day to say to him that I'm coming to pick you up. Clear, cancel all of your meetings for the next four hours, you're mine. It's, it's injecting that level of, of, of spontaneity that can only bring some sweet, carefree um, connection. And not, just, not, not to mention the fact that it's unexpected. You know what I mean? Catch your partner flat-footed. And the deal is you just need one person who's prompting this thing often enough to, um, to sustain uh, a level of um, just, just, just to pump more joy into the relationship.